Today in Destiny 2, if you didn't know, we got a new exotic weapon. It's called the Ager Scepter, and it's the first trace rifle to go in your kinetic weapon slot. However, it actually fires stasis damage, not kinetic damage, something to keep in mind. If you're looking for how to get this weapon, well, if you've been keeping up with Marasov's weekly quest called Tracing the Stars, then you'll have to do the final part of that quest line today. There's a lot of steps to it, but it's relatively straightforward. If you still haven't picked up all of the Atlas SKUs, I'll link an article down in the video description that you can check that has the exact location of each one for weeks one to three, and then a second article that shows all the locations of where they are today in week four. If you've already been keeping up with that weekly quest week after week, just go to Marasov today and she should have the exotic quest waiting for you. Here's how the weapon works in a nutshell. It's a trace rifle. You hold the trigger down and you fire a continuous energy beam. The exotic perk works as follows. When you get a kill with the weapon, you create kind of a stasis explosion on where the body was. Any enemy near that explosion will take a lot of the slow status effect. We learned in PvP that this would only do enough to get you halfway to being frozen, whereas in PvE, the Scepter is great at freezing trash level enemies left and right. Before I recommend a build for y'all to go out and try on your own, I want to cover one more really important thing about the gun, the exotic catalyst. A lot of people on Twitter today were claiming that the weapon was quote, bugged because the exotic catalyst wasn't dropping for anyone when the in-game description claimed it would be available in the astral alignment activity. Bungie just confirmed on Twitter that no, it ain't bugged, the exotic catalyst will become available next week on September 21st. If you're wondering why I care so much about the catalyst, well, let me tell you what it does. Quick note, if you don't want to be spoiled by data mining, turn away now. Okay, Ager's Call drains super energy, overflowing the magazine and empowering the beam with bonus damage and the ability to slow and freeze targets until the magazine or super energy runs out or the weapon is stowed, can only be activated when super energy is full. TLDR, when you have full super energy, crank the damage dial on this new trace rifle up to 11, and on top of that, you can slow and freeze targets on contact with the gun. Granted, you can only do that when you have full super energy, but damn, is that a cool idea, so you're definitely going to want to grind out the exotic cat catalyst when it drops next week. If you get the gun and you want to try out a really fun build while we wait for the catalyst to drop, go to your guardian and put on the following armor mods. Elemental Armaments, Elemental Light, Font of Might, and Well of Potency from your artifact. The goal is to have an Elemental Well build that gives you a lot of super energy in PvE really quickly. Elemental Armaments gives you a shot at spawning an Elemental Well whenever you kill an enemy with a gun damage type that matches your subclass, so with the new Exotic Trace Rifle, you'd have to be playing Stasis. Font of Might is going to give your scepter more damage output when you pick up a stasis elemental well while on a stasis class, and well of potency is going to give you additional super energy with every time you pick up a well. After popping your super, each combatant you kill with your super will generate more elemental wells, kind of creating a snowball effect if you're picking up what I'm laying down. I went into PvE with my buddies rocking that build, and I was getting my super energy pretty damn quick. You can also put on font of wisdom, but only put that on if your intellect isn't already at 100. Apparently, the buff doesn't help you get any more super if you're already at 100 intellect. Warlock players definitely also put on the Mantle of Battle Harmony 2, which will only add to the super regen train. When we do get the catalyst, I have a feeling this elemental well build that gives a lot of super gen will be pretty good on a weapon designed to dial things up to 11 when you got full super. Anyway, that's all I got to share with you on the scepter right now. I will update you soon if this thing can be a top level DPS option with the catalyst. And make sure you don't miss that future video by hitting both the subscribe button Button and ring in the notification bell. That's a smooth transition right there, boys. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.